third of the day. An attendant clearing one of the stalls. They're off. They're racing. And Ronaldo was the last of them to leave from the inside. Money for old rope. Beat out here by Prayer and Cruise to victory. Mocker Dream going forward. Behind those settling is Floppy from Silver Bug. Urged along but losing ground just a midi shortly after the start from Cherry Can Run. And the tail ender is Ronaldo. Money for old rope led them at the thousand. It's money for old rope with the neck arched. Out three quarters to a half. Cruise to victory. Only a very modest pace. Mocker Dream, the three-year-old, goes up now to sit outside of Money for Old Rope. Over on the inside, running fourth at this point is Floppy, the stable mate next. On the outside is Just a Midi. They're followed by Hear My Prayer, which had got back with only the three behind it now in running. Ronaldo, Cherry Can Run, and the Grey Silver Bug. They put the 600 mark behind them, and Money for Old Rope will bring them up to the home turn. Three quarters clear. Running second, Mocker Dream, a length and a half. Cruise to victory over on the outside of Floppy. Followed by Just a Midi, three deep approaching the turn. G being urged along is here. My prayer under plenty of pressure at the t at the home straight now to try and get a wriggle on. But as they balanced up and money for old rope, kicked a length clear now from Mocker Dream. Cruise to victory. Over on the inside, Floppy down the outside. Just a Midi then here. My prayer. The leaders got swapped. Mocker Dream, Cruise to victory. Just a Midi. Silver Bugs coming now with a big run late. They'll split the line. Just a Midi. Just a Midi salutes. Gets there narrowly from Silver Bug. Cruise to victory. Then Cherry can run deep out. Mocker Dream behind those floppy. Hear my prayer. Well, it only just ground away in the straight. Money for old rope weakened out of it after leading. And Ronaldo had whipped them all in. Good effort here by Just a Mitty, written by Luke Campbell. God has spoken for your old. Covered a bit of extra territory, but lifted home by Cool Hand Luke for the Nev Parnham stable after being placed last start to Finchie. Featured prominently too in the stewards report there that day. Just a Mitty has got the job done here over number 10, Silver Bug, Troy Turner. Two crews to victory third, Jared Noski. And five mocker dream weakening late weighs in fourth in 123.58. A neck a half ahead the margins, just a midi with its second victory from 19 runs for Steve Kilner, Nev Parnham, Carolyn Parnham, Colin Loxton, handled by Luke Campbell. And uh, out of She's a Pro, a son of God has spoken. Scoring from uh, 10 Silver Bug by Ver Degree from uh, Lassa Bug. Trained by Steph Bakranich, Troy Turner there aboard. And cruise to victory third, a lucky street strike for victory gelding. Trained by Louise Newman, written by Jared Noski. And 35-63 is the sectional. Numbers are 1, 10, 2 and 5 there. Hear my prayer. Well, uh, back there in the field and just uh, grounded out without ever having any impact at all over the final part. Uh, not beating that big a margin, but uh, just didn't accelerate when they were going. Race four, 1500, Rock My Way comes out with nine Lady of Babylon. Four and nine from race four, 234, starting time for the next on the card. OK, we'll go down now and uh, not a bad day for Midi either. Brit, is it? Here's one that's just got the money in the third. And uh, Neville, can I say worth the wait? Uh, I was standing next to you when this race got called off for the second time and you shook your head and said, I don't think they want to run this race. No, that was a bit of a, uh, bit of a uh, disappointment when you travel to and go to the races and that happens two weeks in a row, but uh, sometimes it's out of anyone's hands. So uh, we just shrugged the shoulders and moved on and uh, here we're today and we've got the money, so that's even better. Well, locally as well here at Ascot makes it nice and easy for you. What does it look like from a training perspective with the two disrupted outings to Pinjarra and just keeping uh, this horse right for today? Yeah, well, he, the next morning, which would have been Thursday morning, he, he had a gallop and um, uh, he worked extremely well. So we were sort of coming into the race pretty confident. You know, he has been working really good leading into all three events. And uh, uh, so he, we, we have actually had to give him a good gallop this time because it was only a maintenance gallop the week before and uh, he responded well, so, uh, uh, but today, honestly, I actually didn't think he was ever going to win until about the last 100 metres, and uh, he kept coming, so it was a good effort for him. What were your thoughts early in the run, then? Uh, early in the run, I thought it was working out pretty good, because he, whilst he was three deep, he had a bit of cover, but then that one rolled forward and sat outside the lead, which left us exposed, and 
didn't appear to corner that well, but um, uh, Luke didn't panic. He just waited and balanced him up, and um, uh, I think that was sort of secret to sort of getting him back into, into his rhythm, and uh, the horse hit the line good then. Third time lucky. Well done. Cheers. Thank you. There is Neville Parnham, just a midi, able to be victorious here today, Scott, and good to see that we've been able to get this race run and won, finally. Well, you've got two more to come. I think there's a, the next a couple of both from that transferred meeting, so hopefully we can get through all of those and those connections that have been very, very patient and the trainers that have had to adjust their their processes to get the horses here today can be duly rewarded. But also for Luke Campbell, this horse, Floppy, was beaten a nose last start by at the hands of Finchie, and uh, today he's able to get the job done. Luke Campbell joins us now. Luke, early it was looking nice, three deep with cover, but then all of a sudden you were out there on your own. Yeah, in the early stages of the race, we're in an ideal position. You know, I was three deep with cover, my horse relaxed really nicely under me. Then I uh, guess Clint decided to roll forward, so that was okay. And I just thought, just keep my horse relaxed. And then at about the 600, I just made sure I had enough horse under me to just roll him, roll him into the race, coming to the corner. And um, he really let down well and sort of hit the front and switched off a little bit. So I had to give him a good roar, but it was a very good job done by him today. A deserving win because last start you were beaten by the narrowest of margins. Yeah, last start he did get beat um, by the narrowest of margins by Finchy, And then he was meant to run two times after that and the races got cancelled and postponed or whatever. So, you know, fortunately we're here today at Ascot and great to get a winner on just a midi. What about in the last today? Honeydew looks like a winnable race for her. She was excellent again last start. Yeah, last start she was excellent. Um, uh, the cutaway really did favour us last start and she, she flashed home really well and ran a really good last 600 and today good draw hopefully we're sort of just midfield or just a little bit closer than midfield and hopefully she's hitting the line nice and yeah hard, nothing's running us down. Congratulations best of luck for a double. Thanks Scott. There is Luke Campbell wins on just a midi defeat Silverbug and cruise to victory 110 2 and 5 the numbers.